Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a reflecting raycast. Now, this can be used in multiple ways. Um, you could make uh, bullet reflections, so you can make a raycast gun that has a bullet reflect, and that's pretty fun to do. Um, you could also do spark particles, where it creates sparks that actually interact with the environment. You can make other types of particles that actually interact with the environment that uses raycasting. Um, you can use this for a lot of other things than just uh, bullets, sparks, and other particles. This can be impl implemented into a lot of different things. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make a part. Okay, You're going to want to get the front surface. So I like to add a surface selection. Select the uh, adorney as the uh, part and get the front. Now that you have the front, you can just scale this to however you want it to be. I like one up. I like one stud by one stud. And then you just place this up in the air, anchor it, kick light off. You don't have to do that, but I like to. Um, then you're going to insert, you're going to remove that. You're going to add. Yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, I'll make mine like, I don't know. So. That doesn't really do anything. There. All right. So then you're going to input a script into it. So we're going to start off with a local start C frame equals script dot parent dot C frame. And then we're going to do local normal equals start C frame dot look vector local position. Okay, I spelled that right. No, I'm local position equals start C frame dot position. And then we're going to do local result equals workspace colon raycast position comma normal times 500. So this is where the actual, um, we could actually put this into a function so that we can call it whenever we want to. We'll do uh, mm, emit. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, the actual, um, the actual formula to get the reflection we're going to do if result is not equal to nil then local reflected normal equals normal minus two times normal dot result dot normal and then outside of this we're going to do times result dot normal down here we're going to do normal equals reflected normal so this is the actual reflecting normal. This is what reflects. So I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit more complicated uh, thing for this uh, to actually visualize the reflecting. Just for the record, all of this code is not mine. I am just uh, reading off of a deform post from about 2015. So this is, I'm pretty late on this. Um, I'm never early on anything. Um, but yeah. I'll leave the post down in the description in case you want to read instead of visualize. All right. So here comes the more complicated bit. So instead of this, we're going to do local RNG equals random dot new. Local, we'll just call it local particle equals instance dot new part uh, particle dot name equals particle particle dot size equals eh, you can really just do anything here yeah, i'll just do 0.1 comma or 0.1 comma 0.1 comma 0.1 um particle dot color equals color three dot new rng next number and then just go ahead and repeat this for all of them particle dot anchored equals true Particle dot can collide equals false and particle dot locked equals true and particle dot C frame equals script dot parent dot C frame and particle dot parent equals workspace. Local max distance. This is how far the uh, particle can travel before it is deleted equals and this is how this is every this is how many studs it can travel. So we'll do about hmm, it'll travel a hundred. Nah, 200, uh, 250, 250 studs, and then it'll get destroyed. 
local cur distance equals zero. So this is the current distance. Local step distance, this is the speed of the uh, particle. We'll set that to four. This is from either one to literally whatever you want it to be. But if it's too big, then it'll be too fast. I'd recommend between one and about 10. So we'll do about, hmm, let's say 2.5 will be fine. Local step weight. This is how long in between the, um, this is how many seconds between it'll play the uh, step. So how many, or before it moves the particle, basically. We'll do zero because we want it to be smooth. Local current pause equals script dot parent dot position. Local current normal equals script dot parent dot c frame dot look vector. And now we're gonna do local function step override distance. Now we're going to do local params equals raycast params on new and then just leave that as blank. Uh, local direction equals current normal times override distance or step distance. Params dot filter distance type equals um, we're going to do table here and then we're going to do script dot parent uh, params uh, not uh, params dot filter type dot raycast filter type dot blacklist and then we're gonna do local result equals verse based on uh, raycast current position comma direction and then also can't forget params now we're gonna do if result then pause equals result dot position else Oh, forgot. You need to put underneath result. You need to do local pause. I almost forgot about that. Else pause equals current pause plus direction. Underneath all of this, um, particle dot size equals vector three dot new. Then we're gonna do zero point two five zero point two five, and then here's where we do this pause. Minus current pause dot magnitude. So this is gonna change the size depending on the speed. Particle dot C frame equals C frame dot new current pause colon lerp pause comma zero point five comma pause. All right, now we're gonna continue on with the thing. We're gonna do local old pause equals current pause and current pause equals pause. If result then uh, local norm equals result that norm. This is gonna where we're gonna do the uh, formula for the math and everything. We're gonna do local reflect equals uh, current normal minus two times current normal colon dot norm times norm current no uh, current normal equals reflect and step distance. Or, and we're going to call step here, step, and step, this, step distance minus pause minus old pause dot magnitude. Can't forget, underneath this if statement, here's where you do cur distance equals cur distance plus uh, pause minus old pause dot magnitude. If cur distance is greater than max dis uh, max distance minus seventy five, then d equals current distance minus max distance minus seventy five divided by seventy five. Forgot got to do local d particle dot transparency equals d. And then down here, underneath this, we're going to do if current distance is less than max distance, then task.weight, and then step weight, step. Now, wait a f uh, hold on, I forgot one thing. Step and, oops, see daisies. And down here, particle, colon, destroy.
Now, if you want to fix uh, it being weird and not liking anything, you can just do spawn function, or you can do a guaranteeing that wrap. I kind of just like doing spawn function. It's just more convenient and easier to type. There we go. And then down here, you can just do while, well, wait, 0 0.1 seconds, do, and then call emit. Do what you want it to do. Should reflect. It should be creating the particles. Yep. But if they go and they go to hit the ground, they reflect. And this can happen for any surface at any angle. As you can see. Doesn't matter what surface of angle it is. Like, I could literally put a part here, scale it up, and it'll just reflect in that direction. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.